Bay County leaders also moving forward with a plan to shut down the county's incinerator. The decision to close it down was made in early September, and today the commission approved a timeline for that process. As News 13's Erica Orsted tells us, residents have concerns over the change, but county officials say they are prepared. We're looking at March. The incinerator is in its final months. County leaders approving the plan to turn it off in mid-January with shutdown activities continuing through March 6th. But Commissioner Bill Dozier is addressing concerns. There's several aspects that will benefit the public. He says that includes a small transfer station on site for residents to continue to bring debris. Also, as waste haulers transition to steel field landfill, Dozier says they'll be saving money with significantly lower tipping fees. If they pass that sa those savings on to their customers, that's up to them. I would like to think that they would. With the shutdown coming, some residents in Bayou George have another concern, a fly fiasco that they experienced around this time last year. It was the worst I've ever seen. Resident Tony Thompson remembers the fly invasion when the incinerator had been broken down for weeks. My concern is that we're going to have to be plagued with them from now on. Dozier says they're aware of the issue. We will be addressing those flies through spraying them. He says crews with the facility's operator and Gen LLC will also be clearing the tipping floor of all waste, hopefully clearing out the flies. Time will tell. Engines managing partner Joe Tannehill says while they carry out the shutdown duties, it's a tough time since around 30 people will lose their jobs once the facility is offline. It's a very dedicated group and very accomplished group. My heart goes out to them. In Bay County, Erica Orstadt, News 13, Panhandle Strong.